Good afternoon, everyone. Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. Uh, this afternoon, I'm gonna do a walk around startup and drive video for you on a 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air two-door sedan. Now, this car has been completely frame off restored. In fact, this car is sitting on a Art Morrison chassis. Um, it's a regular frame chassis with all the tube frames uh, bracing underneath of it. Four link rear suspension. It's got a Ford 8.8 .8 rear end in the rear. Uh, the car is uh, sitting on a set of Riddler classic style wheels with BF Goodrich radial TA tires. This car was probably a $120,000, $100,000 build, $120,000 build, um, especially if you're gonna try to build it today. Underneath the hood, you're gonna find a 350 engine. It's a fuel injected 350 Vortec engine um, and a automatic overdrive transmission. I believe it's a 4L60 transmission. I have to get back underneath of it for sure, but I, I believe that's what it was. Um, <clears throat> beautiful car kind of a burnt orange with a almost a cream colored roof white cream i call it I don't know, kind of like an egg white maybe it's a gorgeous gorgeous car um custom front end custom grill as you can see the stainless chrome and bright work on this car is all polished to perfection the headlight bezels all that stainless the bumpers all the trim around your windows all in excellent shape the glass in this car all in excellent shape lightly tinted glass in the car all this stainless trim the door handles the mirrors all that trim is like i say it's beautiful the paint and body on this car is very very nice um, i found a couple small little chips um, but no signs of any rust or bubbling anywhere on this car the undercarriage of this car is just unbelievable you will see that on our website www.kenyonauto.com k-i-n-i-o-n auto.com you see how nice it is again all your stainless trim around your back window um Tinted tail lights, new rear chrome bumper, and tail light bezels. Inside the trunk is all nicely done. There's your fuel fill in the trunk. Nice panels. Your battery is rear mounted underneath behind that panel right there. Um, it does have a battery disconnect switch. So when you get this car from us, it if it does not have power going to it we probably will disconnect that shutoff switch but you pull that panel back and there is the shutoff switch in there so if you're wondering that if you purchase this car that's what you're going to find the all the panel alignment door gaps and fitment is great on this car you can you can see how nice the paint is on it They've done a phenomenal job. Interior, no faults there either. Seat, two-tone black and tan uh, seat. I call it leather. Um, yeah, it feels like leather to me. Feels really, really nice. Got a leather-wrapped banjo-style steering wheel. Aftermarket instrument cluster. Tinted uh, little light green tint over the gauges vintage air conditioning down below. Um, as I mentioned before, the car has power steering. It has power brakes. It has four wheel disc brakes. See how nice some door panels are. See how nice that is too. There's a, there's a little water there. This car just got, came out of detail this morning. So uh, looks like it's got billet handles on it. Uh, wind, billet window cranks, all that dash stainless and chrome is beautiful beautiful headliner package tray a couple of small speakers behind there rear seat beautiful as well rear panels all matched seats 
and the front door panels aftermarket um, shifter stainless kick panels How nice that door shuts you want to talk about a nice car we haven't priced this car yet i will price it um, very soon Trying to get the there we go. There you go. Trying to do that with one hand is kind of tough sometimes. No uh, excuses underneath the hood either, folks. Um, the firewall all customized, uh, painted body color, painted to match, just like the underneath of this car. The frame is all painted red. Uh, beautiful car underneath, just like the underneath the hood. There's your 350 uh, Vortec fuel injected engine. It's got a set of headers on it. A rack and pinion power steering. Um, it does have tubular upper and lower control arms. Front and rear sway bars. Here's your vintage air conditioning compressor. Low car dipstick. Very, very nice. Um, valve covers um, and plug wire holders. Them are very, very nice. Stainless overflow catch can, electric fan, chrome alternator and chrome AC compressor. Just a very, very nice built car. Very well built car. Come over here, we'll start her up. Um, see, is that a little chip? At one little chip right there and I seen let's see got one small little chip oh it's got one small little chip right here in this door see that off the, like a size of an end of an ink pen maybe um, outside of that I don't see any bubbles in the paint any blisters any cracks this is a gorgeous gorgeous car Honestly, uh, this is I, this car just got here last night, and this is me and you are going through this car together basically because this is the first time I've been behind the wheel of it. So there's all your gauges, your dash lights all work. Super cool. 3,200 miles it says. Horn works. got a chrome or a tilt I did it steering column all your gauges all your stainless all your dash beautiful beautiful shape left turn signal right turn signal back here check her out tail lights right turn signal License plate light, that's pretty cool. Got a little LED license plate light. This is a very, very sharp car. I always love these cars too. You know, everybody loves to try fives, which I do too, the five, six, and sevens. Uh, but I tell you what, there's something to be said about the 53s and 54s. They're just gorgeous cars in my opinion. I, I get to work, I almost like those better every day. They're just such pretty cars. Body lines on them are super nice. It has this uh, custom auto sound stereo in it. Um, you know, we'll see. I've never had this. Air conditioning blows cold in this car. In fact, I'm gonna turn it off because... Yeah, you can hear the radio. The radio does work, so... Nah, no, not all those black marks are from me. I, I, uh... They read 
down the roads here and they just put fresh blacktop down here so see some black tire marks some of them are for me though getting some of these cars out that are totally badass and driving them man this is a really nice road really really nice stretch of road now i kind of an enjoyable trip to drive one of these cars down it now uh, this car runs and drives very nice uh, no issues braking um, gauges all seem to work the speedometer is definitely not right it's kind of bouncing a little bit you see that it says we're going 60 we're probably going 40 you now it says we're going 100 so um, yeah, I'm not sure that might be a programming error or something who knows maybe it'll start working correctly if it you know I had that battery the disconnect switched off so maybe it's something to do with that I'm not sure but uh, keep you in the loop on that but check out the paint on this thing look over the hood just look how beautiful this car is it's a stunning car inside now uh, Kenyan classic cars Clarence Iowa five six three four five two two four five zero www.kenyanauto.com uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel that way you never miss another great quality collector car I hope you have a great afternoon I'll be back with you here shortly with another great quality collector car and talk to you guys very soon bye for now